It's Astro Monday and it was a full moon and people are going a little bit crazy today. Tired? Yeah, I'm tired. I want to tell you how you're feeling down in those comments. Are you feeling tired? Also too, put down your sun, your moon and your rising. Uh, we may be pulling people up today. And if you know your degree, put down your degree. It's always better. Uh, it makes for a more interesting story. Welcome, come on in, and we're going to be bringing up Chris Patecki. My son say it is serious joy. Chris and I go way back. We started this journey, I think, 12 years ago. We had our <clears throat> anniversary here recently, and uh, 12 years ago, it was, it was a completely different story. Chris was just starting with the platform, and, and we were just starting with uh, Human Garage, the clinic, and I just knew at that time that there was something more to it. Now we've been working together for years and we're finding that, 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 that stride. Four Pisces, 12 rising, 29 Taurus moon. Awesome. <clears throat> so put down how you're feeling. <clears throat> Hello, tired, yes. Scorpio Sun, Aquarius Moon, Cancer Rising. Okay, Leo, Cancer. And here we go, Christopher Wateki. <clears throat> Where are you? There you are. Hello, how's it going, brother? Man, tired today. <laughs> oh yeah, are you feeling the eclipse? It was this morning at Apex around 3 a.m. A lot of yeah. people having sleep issues, diarrhea. I keep getting <laughs> messages about like it's no it's shit. happening. Diarrhea? No yeah, shit. no shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, so it's intense. Yeah, I'm tired too. I'm worn down. I, I I felt worn. I mean, I felt this eclipse going into the weekend, and now after both. I had like, pre and post. Uh, I, I continue to have all these people coming into my life, like, um, like, like story repeats. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> um, a lady and her three kids came in, and um, two of the kids. First of all, Aries. She's a Gemini. Uh, two kids are. Uh, our three kids are Aries, sorry, on an Aries. And, um, but the one little girl has the same astrology as my sister who raised me. <laughs> exactly. Looks like her, all that. And she, uh, living the same story. Her, her father passed away at the same, just a couple years ago, the same as my sister. And, and identical. She even looks like my sister. <laughs> And and I have to think, and and the son looks like my brother, so it's like my sister, my brother, and my mother, mm. and it's the same story. And I've been having those things happening, as you know, all these all these happenings. And and then on top of it, yesterday, I must have been everybody. Called, the only person who didn't call me was you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about. It. I just didn't have enough time to do it. Because I yeah. want to call you and, and and rap with you about about Austin and and kind of hear some of the, deeper the plans and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> we'll we'll do that shortly. But but it's like all of the all of the old relationships, kids, relationships, people crying and all kind in a good way, like joy crying. It was like that all yesterday. Yeah, yeah, a lot of there's a lot of sorrow being let out. Yeah, a lot of people crying. A lot. Of, I've had a lot of clients reach out to me who were who said they've had a lot of, a lot of releasing going on, and that started as soon as Thursday of last week. For me, it's I get angry, which is the emotion I repress is yeah. anger. So uh, whenever I get angry, it's usually repressed anger, because uh, nice guys just always you know <laughs> suck it up, right? You know, um, it was funny because I uh, I do my. Through my life is fear, sadness, anger, but it would come up in different ways, like fear at the core of it. But it used to come up as as sadness and then as anger or anger and then sadness. And mm. it would mask. And then it, when I dug down underneath it, it was really just fear. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't. Well, I don't feel I don't feel fear. <clears throat> I feel like I feel like what I allowed 
because this is all about the Migo. So this is a good stem into our this week's conversation because what we're doing this week is we're forging a new Migo, which is the way we treat ourselves. Right. And so um, I have always forced myself to take one for the team. I did that in my family unit to keep family peace. I do it in business relationships. I do it all over the place where I, and, and then my inner child was like, F you, why are we always taking one for the team? So I think the anger is with myself actually. Yeah. Um, you know, because I consciously was being the better man or whatever. Um, so I think we're coming to what this eclipse is about. And it's today is really coming to where we have been there for ourselves or have not been there for ourselves. Uh, what I call our knee ridge. Yeah. You know what our knee ridge vows are. This, this eclipse is about karate chopping the old knee ridge vows and resetting new knee ridge vows. Yeah. And I have and, uh, during eclipses, I have big physical transformations and, and this one didn't let me down. I had a massive physical transformation as well. Oh, did you? You grew like a third arm or something? Uh, my <laughs> face. I mean, my body, my face, like this thing's moving around. I'm becoming more and more moving to this more symmetrical um, uh, body constantly. And, but it was, it was very, it was, it, this one was impactful. So why was this one, it's in Libra. So why was it so impactful? Like, why was this one so much like the way it was? Because it's an eclipse. So when the Earth, Sun, and Moon line up in perfect in in perfect uh, sequence like that, the gravity, the gravitational pull is more intense. But then also, what you have is when you have the Sun behind the Earth, it casts the Earth's shadow onto the Moon. Okay, so all of your shadow gets broadcasted to the Earth. The Earth's um. shadow gets broadcasted to the Earth. So it's like all of our darkness, all of our hidden secrets, all of our pain, all of our agony goes up onto the film projector of the moon and then comes back to us. So you're forced to face your shadow. Oh. <clears throat> Lunar eclipses force you to face your shadow. That's it. That's it. That's it. And we have um and then April eighth, we've got a we've got a solar eclipse. Solar eclipse. Mm hmm That's coming up. Yeah. Soon, soon. We're calling that solar eclipse the grand I am. <laughs> um the the champion recovers that's the subtitle the grand i am the champion recovers so we feel that the solar eclipse is the recovery of the champion um or you could say the hero but i think champion is better because it concludes you'll win <laughs> right so uh so i so it's interesting we we're just talking about this in my in my staff meeting this morning i actually feel that since 2020 and covid you know, everyone on Earth got sort of taken by surprise for a power grab, right? Like sure. power grab of the economy, medical, you know, six feet distance, all sorts of things. And everyone has been sort of like um, that that power grab reminded us as a species of all the power grabs and all through time. So sure. it, it, it echoed all your past lives of Hitler, Mussolini, you know, all, you know, bubonic plague, all the things that we had ever suffered in our past lives that were just as phenomenally bad. And so we so we've been sort of down for four years. Right. Really basically facing our deep trauma from past lives with, you know, COVID and that whole power grab as the uh instigator. Right. But we but we feel that as mm -hmm. of that eclipse on April eighth, the the champion is recovered so like we feel like society is now going to bounce back that's the bounce back moment from being pushed down under covid and so from that point on i i feel like you're going to see major resistance going on in the world that it's really the return of like that's when that the resistance is born so what so um uh so what's uh have you, i don't know if you heard that there's national guard being deployed all along the the eclipse zone. Yeah, what is that? I can't. Secondly, no I'm like, what are they doing? Like, it makes me think there's a false flag or something if they're going to that extent. I mean, uh, this is uh, this is 20 years now me being aware of eclipses, and never has the government ever. You know, there was the Great American Solar Eclipse that happened in 2019. There was no. Yeah. You know, there was there was no deployment of anything. Of course, Trump was in uh, in office at that point. So, but you know, I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, I'll be, I, I'll actually be in Austin again the month before. I'll be in Austin for that. I'm going to go to Austin to visit my home and my son and yeah. check out the location of where we're doing our event in May. 
Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and be there. And would you believe the airline ticket, the cheapest airline ticket I could find to Austin was 1250 bucks. That's how they price, price they priced gouge that much for the eclipse. Ah. If I would have flown United, it would have been $2,500. i am like, I could go to Antarctica <laughs> for that amount of money. I'm going to be in the air for two hours. <laughs> Seriously. Like a dog sled is cheaper to rent for two days. Like, it's crazy. It was crazy. That's how much they're, they're gouging. It's just ridiculous. But anyways, I'll be there. I'm, I'll be reporting live. In fact, that Monday, we actually, I don't even know if I'll be able to go live with you on that Monday or not. I'd like to. Yeah. I'd like to plan to go live with you. Well, play Outside waiting Wait by for the ear, eclipse. You go live. That would be kind of cool. It would be cool because I'll be waiting for the eclipse. You guys will see me turn to a werewolf and back. I think it's only <laughs> about eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be fun. So it's funny, uh, you know, the fear of looking at the eclipse, right? Everybody says, "Don't look at the eclipse," and and I'm What's like, "What's the reason for that? It's supposed to burn out your retinas all, or something?" It's all bullshit. I know. It's all bullshit. It was like. It's like uh, that and Jaws, which got us out of the water as a, as a society. You ever, you ever, well, if you ever go to uh, oceans or lakes right now, and today is like when I was a kid, uh, all the adults would swim. Today, all the kids swim, all the adults are on the beach. And uh, our generation was scared out of the water with movies like Jaws. Oh, like Jaws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah from a movie. Yeah, the chance of that, yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not, someone said, why don't you drive? That's two days. It's a two day drive. Yeah. I'm not driving two yeah, yeah. 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 It's I'm, like, it's not worth the white, energy. I'm a white bull. It's first class all the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, um, I think, go ahead. Yeah. So, so, so what is it? Um, what does this week look like then? Because like, I'm feeling it right now. And, and I think it's till Wednesday that, that we have this kind of junkiness feeling, right? We do. Yeah. Until uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, you'll start to feel better tomorrow. I've been feeling, I feel like junk from honestly, from Friday till today. I've been, I've just been impatient, a little grouchy, all sorts of stuff. Um, this week is really about, you know, forging a new Migo. So the junk's supposed to come up and we're supposed to respond differently to it. So that's ultimately what's supposed to happen is you're learning how to treat yourself differently and you're releasing self limitations. So you know, I think what we're learning is we have put limitations on what we're capable of saying I can't, or I don't know if I can. So we're sort of removing those now. I think it's part of the subplot of this of this uh, week and realizing that maybe we haven't, I think we have been always partnering with ourselves to survive, but we haven't partnered with ourselves to, to thrive. Yeah, I get that. So I get that. So, so it's like a re-looking at myself. It's sort of like, I've been saying it's like a fairy godmother. It's like, we're kind of turning into a fairy godmother, a fairy godfather, and we're looking at ourselves this week and realizing, okay, needs some shoes, you know, like needs to up his game, needs to get rid of that person out of their life. Like, so I think we're sort of looking at ourselves this week with a critical eye on what needs to change to bring the best out of us. I get that. I mean, I mean, there's uh, even been some changes, like you know, for us, we we are we made the dis a week or two weeks ago to the decision that that we're going to take and, you know, uh, monetize the performance so that we can fund more of the, of the help me around the world. And, um, uh, and, and that wasn't something that I was thinking about. So that, that's a, that's definitely new. Yeah. Monetizing, huh? So, well, performance, not the old, I mean, the old, uh, help yourself, get help, help others, classes, resets, all that stuff, always be free, more content, more universities, but, but we, but the way, but we're going to, we're going to massively fund it by, um, by monetizing the performance side. Cause we, I mean, we have doctors and coaches and stuff like that. And we have lots of professional athletes. Like I, I've got one of the most elite runners in the world, uh, here this week and Aries, of course. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, and, and we we're we're going to be not only working with these performance programs, which will be monetized, but we are going to uh, we're going to be working with some of the top athletes in the world at the same time. So you're creating like an elite a garage for imports. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, and in that we get to so we're doing a documentary behind the reel. Um, 
And then we're, uh, in addition to that, it's uh, writing the books. We have a team, a camera team, going to be following us 24-7 for a year. Mm. Wow, that's great. That sounds great. Yeah, well, I think it's time. I think, I think business models are changing, you know, to some degree for, for everyone um, with Jupiter and, and Uranus in, in Taurus. In fact, you know, I'm looking at the month of April, which is the, the, what I, we call the grand I am. So we're coming at, you're coming into this, the greatest I am version of yourself you've ever been. <laughs> and at the end of the month, on actually April 20th, um, 420, which is funny, <laughs> Jupiter and Uranus conjoin at 21 degrees Taurus on 420. Uh, and so that is like going to be the great American smokeout. I mean, that, that, that conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus is very rare. And what it means is sort of like unlimited possibilities in both directions. Uranus is ascension and dimensions, and Jupiter is like expansion horizontally. So it's a horizontal and vertical expansion. Really, you could say Uranus is diagonal, but it's, it's like this multidimensional expansion happening in Taurus at 21. And 21 is like an unlimited, well, it's a three. Yeah. It's, it's three, 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 three. It's like, it's forever. It's, per, you know, 21 is forever and ever yeah. and ever like pie. Um, so what that means is uh, the ceiling for money and making money is now rising to a new level. And I think you're going to start to see other monetary systems starting to collapse or fall apart and people migrate. In fact, I just read BlackRock, how much holdings they have in Bitcoin. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. That, that legitimizes I, it. That's, I mean, that whole thing is, uh, is people, they, they, they I know everybody's like cryptocurrency pushed over, but again, the, the, what we use currency for, what we value is changing, not, and the currency will have to reflect that. So it's not gonna be what people think. So all the work that people have done to try to hold on, don't think it's gonna be. And what we value is we value contribution. We don't value what you did last year, for the last 50 years, that's not valuable anymore. People value what, what you can con contribute today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have an expression for Unite to Light. Collaboration is the new cash. Yeah. You know, yeah. like. Yeah. It, it's so it's. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I think, think uh, also, too, you know, I've been telling people, the ones who didn't have anything, yeah, they're on the uphill. The ones who had a lot, they have, they're going to have the biggest transition. And also, I'm noticing a lot of the spiritual people um today's spiritual people they're having a big transition because it's like everybody has to change and it's like no i got this handled and the expectation of i got this handled to the reality of what's about to happen is pretty far yeah so you mean you're saying the people with abundance are out of touch is that well, what i was extracting pre previous abundance not abundance uh cash Worldly assets. Abundance is different than money, and and old power and money is dying, as you know. And and uh, but just because I owned a lot and had a lot and was very powerful before, those are the ones who have the biggest fall. I mean, it's a big ship; it's turning. We all have to turn. The ones who are all in the flow, constantly providing value, are going to have a great great transition. The ones who had a lot before but haven't been providing value, they just had money and power. Those are the ones that are going to hurt the most. Mm -hmm. And and the mm -hmm. ones who had nothing, that it's like a playing field is is even out. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So like the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, like these old families with money, you saying because they're not really contributing, they're going to be less valuable. Yeah, and it's also it's not just them. It's 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 like people in society. Like there's a lot of people that have banked money and assets and wealth. I mean, we we have a monetary system going to go away. That means things like values and homes and assets and stocks are going to go away too. It, it's going to yeah. not go away. It has to. And and currently we have we have we have money because but money is a big pile that we have, debt, obligation, fear, greed and guilt. And then what's happening is we have currency going forward. Currency is like you said it's is collaboration is a new currency that's where that's where everything's going and so people that haven't been collaborating that have been sitting on stuff piles of money and stuff like that they're gonna have it they're definitely gonna have a problem got you well good nobody's safe <laughs> yeah well yeah i mean it's all gonna it's all gonna mix up and change i totally i totally feel that as well and 
whatever happens, you know, with the election this year is going to sh- also be phenomenally interesting, I think, as well. It's so, funny how that's happening. So, so we got, so this week, um, uh, it's that the Migo re- redefining. So what, what does it look like day by day? So today is the day where you get a new idea about how to think about yourself. That's really the apex of the eclipse is the attitude you've had about yourself is expired. It no longer applies. So it's time for a new token. Basically, it's time for a new a new approach to yourself on the inside, which I've been feeling build up. But now it sort of feels like I'm, I have to do it now. Yeah. Like so – you sort of feel you you sort of pushed in the pool if you didn't if you didn't do it. Tomorrow you sort of accept this and begin tomorrow's sort of a day where it'll calm down. Um the moon is in Libra, so it'll be kind of back and forth and so tomorrow's sort of like, you know, Goldilocks trying to find the right zone of it being just right, you know. So tomorrow's kind of a tomorrow and Wednesday are very slow days. Wednesday's a step seven day, so it's a day of uh, tuning in with my guides, like, is this who I was meant to be? Is this the way I want to live myself? So I think so, it depends on the person. If you've been proactive, like people who watch this show, then it's all affirmation. <clears throat> if you've not been proactive, then it's a boot upside the head. It's a reality call. So a lot sure. of people in a real reality call that they've not been paying, like life has changed and they didn't notice or adjust to it or um, you know, it's it's a wake up call for a lot of people, um, I think. And then Thursday is a decision day, and the moon goes into Scorpio on Thursday. So Thursday is the day where you're like, that Rocky music comes on to date myself. I don't know what the modern equivalent. equivalent we don't make films about heroes anymore, so I can't think of any music that would come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's all superheroes, but it's not heroes. It's not average heroes. You have to be super in order to do something great. But we sort of make this. On you know on Thursday we decide we're like okay that's it that's it I'm gonna lose the weight I'm gonna do this it, you could say you make a promise to yourself or a vow to yourself on Thursday and so it's sort of a holy moment um uh what do I call it a Hallelujah moment instead of Hallelujah Hallelujah it's Hallelujah right so it's a Hallelujah moment on Thursday and then Friday is Grandmaster Step Nine Day of Aries so Friday is when the new ego is is born so. Come Friday, yay, there we go, fireworks. That's beautiful. <laughs> Sit there. I was about to sing the sing the anthem there. So Friday we we uh we rebirth. So Friday, I think you're gonna feel amped up and ready to go. And then next week we start changing the behavior of our life as a result and um start birthing the grand I am. We have a Mercury retrograde that starts on April Fool's Day. So once you make this declaration to yourself, I am, I am this to myself. It's a new I am statement to me. So I am my fairy godfather. I am the best thing since sliced bread. It's this I am to myself. Then once you do that, Mercury retrogrades at uh, next Monday. And I'm just putting it out there because you guys want to get all your business. And you, you're not going to have any really good business opportunity for contracts or whatever past next Monday for three weeks until April 25th. So you could do business in in those three weeks, but you ought not to. Yeah, yeah, we, anything that's already started is okay though. Yeah, but what's gonna happen is, I mean, pretty much, you know, by the time Mercury goes retrograde, you're gonna get, you know, so don't be surprised if people pull out of deals, by the way, like, because people are making a new deal with themselves, the con the con- the conclusion will be like well then I'm not going to be able to make it in in April or I'm not going to be able to do this and so there will be a lot of fallout um, and a lot of things that were planned falling apart I think in April sure. because people are changing directions now and they have this they realize they're better what this really is is your ego getting wind of the fact that you've healed and taking your power back that's really what it is it's that you re- you realize in April like wait a second I'm not a schmuck anymore. You know, uh, why am I tolerating this? And then it's just sort of like, I'm cutting this, I'm cutting that. I've noticed, you know, it's interesting, like in our business, you know, we're not usually cost cutting. We're, we're more like revenue building. Yeah. But there, there's been a lot of new businesses now. Like we left, um, what do you call it? Uh, I can't remember the our email group. We, we left our email provider for someone cheap, cheaper, MailChimp. We left MailChimp. We're leaving all these providers we've been with for like five or six years because they all inflated to this like ridiculous prices during COVID. 
And there's all these new players on the block that have like AI tools built in and other stuff. So I'm seeing even my business, a great migration away from a lot of businesses that I was uh, tied to um, legacy, you know, business that you could stay with for the rest of your life. They treated you well, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, but they haven't. So, mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we moved from mighty to circle and same thing. And that was big. And then money networks came back and they're like, we want you back. We'll do anything. We'll do. I mean, they, they see what they see. What's oh happening. yeah, they do. Yeah. We're getting those emails too. What will it take for you to come back? It's like answering the last four customer service emails. You didn't answer, you know, like, so, so you had your opportunity, your right hand's not talking to your left hand. Um, so, so I see you've print, pin, uh, pinned a thing here. So you're saying don't launch a program in April. Um, no, no, not if it hasn't, not, not from scratch. If it, if it's already, in progress keep going um but really the launch what you're launching in april is a new character and the grand i am that's what we call it that's the grand version of yourself that's the embodiment of god of you you're launching yourself what i recommend for launching programs is my birthday which will be may 7th this year because a leap year it's moved my step birthday's moved so steps are about two steps early right now um because of leap year. yeah and yeah, that's actually so. Um, um, and that's that's actually when we that's actually when when our our new program actually right around that time it launches. Is oh really around May? Which program yeah. is that? Well, we're week? we're doing so we got we're staging it in a couple things. We have um we have a, a paywall. We have behind the reel, um, and then at the same time we're shooting the performance series videos that we've never like it's all the videos that are up are based upon the first six months of release and here's how to repair but we've never taught people how to actually perform with fashion maneuvers is this how to release stuff so that's when we're doing it got you sorry call came in i need to learn how to turn that so you're say that again <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> sorry. We're, yeah we're we're launching in that particular time we're doing our all of our performance videos, which are going to be commercialized, like professionally gotcha. done. We have a team coming out and then that's, that's the first step. And we will be already shooting behind the reel, which is a completely new series. And, um, it's going to be fun. I mean, literally it's what we started to get ready for this in 2020, but we weren't ready. It was like, what happens if cameras are on 24 seven around us? And oh, you're making a reality show about human garage. Yeah. <laughs> And it's called behind the reel. Yeah. Versus behind the wheel. You are a garage. <laughs> yeah. And the reel. We're, we are, we're reels. Oh, behind the reel. Oh, is it R-E-E-L or R-E-A-L? R-E-E-L. Reel, behind the reel. Okay, cool. And where will this be, be uh, accessible? Um, it'll be, uh, we're going to be, we're going to be putting our effort into YouTube and, and then streaming on the other platforms as well. Um, we'll have uh, basically everybody there. There's going to be a separate group where they can get in. So basically, I'm going to be answering questions about performance, uh, both in physical, emotional, life performance. All that stuff is going to be in a separate group. I'm no longer going to be answering questions of how to heal my body. Got you. And how often are you going to release episodes? Uh, um, we are going to have, we haven't decided the total frequency yet, but there, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff we also have daily stuff that's coming out um but then then it's going to uh once a month there will be a summary of it and each part of this will be um will be a chapter of the book and then everybody who's involved in that contributing to that is going to be a, a collaborator in the um a contributor a collaborator uh to the book because at the end of it the book is free of charge to the world and so is the documentary oh wow that's great so basically we're gonna have a whole bunch of people that are part of, of bringing this new reality to the world. And, and, and right now, like it's, we're, we're gaining around the world in the weirdest places, like in the millions of people right now. Wow. Wow. And another phone call come in. It's my son. I hope he's alive. Oh, he's alive because <laughs> he's calling. <laughs> I sent so, a text message. So, so the, so, um, with the eclipse coming up, what should that feel like? Cause that's April 8th. Yeah. So the eclipse, 
I think the eclipse is the result of the work you're doing now, honestly. So what happens is, is we, we've been working on ourselves our whole life, really. This yeah. is, this is the, this really is the accumulation of all your life's healing and all your life's work coming together. This new Migo is the final, is the final piece as far as what you need inside yourself. Um, and so between now and the eclipse, which is two weeks, it's two weeks from today. Um, you are basically shifting yourself and mobilizing yourself according to these new inner values and these new in inner goals. And the eclipse is amazing because it's the sun, the moon, and Chiron exactly at the exact same minute and the degree. Both degree and minutes are both precisely. It's and it's at 19 step as 19 degrees too, right? 19 degrees, which is acting on my heart's desire to manifest. So it's so that means it's a manifestation. This eclipse really is the manifestation of it, it is we call like what we're saying is the the um the champion is recovered right at that point you are recovered you are officially recovered and not only are you recovered but you're recovered now with a mission and so really i think that eclipse um <clears throat> so anyone who anyone who's on the old mission let's put it this way if you're promoting something that is part of your dis-ease or your sickness that has been making you sick this this eclipse will body slam you on the ground. You will that's get what I'm, that's what I'm saying is that that's part of what's coming at people because people's lives are sick. The the yep. world is sick, yep. and the ones that are holding on to the past. This is why, like, this is why the a lot of people. I can, I can actually name the people in my circle that have a lot of wealth, um, have you know, and securing it because what they're securing is they're securing the feeling their their feeling of not having the the uh the fear of not having enough not being able to do what they want that's why people accumulate wealth um and so they, they don't have to do it but the flow is really where we're going so that that's that fear and that storage like i got a big pile that's what's going to be challenged and i think that's going to start like you said april 8th yeah, I think so. Anyone who's been living in denial, also, I think too, um, the conflict gets disrupted. So you know, there's been this sort of us versus them sort of conflict. Yeah, and and that conflict has been mostly based on the premise that some people felt sick. So there are people who have healed yeah. and no longer are interested in the conflict. There are people who are staying sick by staying in the conflict. Yeah. So I think I think the conflict gets a big body slam, um, yeah. and actually I think it's already happened. Actually, today, for instance, with Trump, I just read that they just lowered his uh, fine to 175 million um, instead of the 450 million, so it got lowered today. He was given an extra 10 days, and True Social is going public. He'll make 3.5 billion. So he just pretty much was like, you know, can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, <laughs> yeah. and I think you know what I mean, <laughs> kind of thing. The orange citrus gingerbread man. <laughs> so, um, so I think you know. To me, that's God body slamming the conflict. So it's like, what? You know, like people are gonna like be upset because now the conflict has just has been disrupted mm -hmm. um, from whatever it was. I'm not even choosing sides. I'm just saying it's disrupted now. Like what it was is not going to be what it is. Yeah. So I think you're gonna have people who are sick falling big time. I do think you'll have geological events. I mean, that's why I'm wondering about National Guard around the along the line. I'm just wondering if there's a geological event well, that may happen I mean, because I mean, there's there's been a map going around for a long time. I mean, li listen, honestly, this map is going around. My mom gave it to me like 30 years ago, and it's where you take the Great Lakes in Canada, you go all the way down to the Mississippi, down into the Gulf of Mexico, and they say that that opens up cracks, water comes in, and uh, that's I mean that line's been going on forever. But I mean. I've seen that map over and over again. It just feels like it's another, you know, 9-11, or sorry, uh, another uh, 1999. It's another thing that's going to happen. Y2K. Every... Yeah, Y2K. Yeah, Y2K. That's, yeah. that's the New Madrid fault, right? New Madrid fault that goes yeah. through, supposed to, like, flood the Mississippi. and Yeah. Yeah, that's when yeah. Mississippi had water, though. Mississippi doesn't have water anymore. Yeah. So. I, it's, it's, it's like... Again, it's it, I've I've been watching this for thirty years or thirty five years. Literally, my mom gave me that map. Says you got to get out of these areas. Get our family out of here. Thirty five years ago. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't. I don't feel any danger there. I actually don't. I, I'm surprised that there's stuff going on, but I feel like it's a, it's a. It feels like a nothing burger. But energetically, I do feel like it's a shift of power. Yeah. So I feel like people who have been sick are being called. You know, the, basically the, the eclipse is a super blast of healing energy. Right. So it's a super blast of healing energy. So those who are healed take off. Kind of like putting you in the oven and baking you. Flash frying. Yeah, I suppose. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yes, yeah, it, it, it is a flash. It's a flash of healing, good, positive energy. So anything negative will wilt, yeah. basically. Yeah. Anything yeah. positive will, will shoot off. Yeah. Yeah. So you get kicked cooked in that microwave oven. So what would the, so when when there's an eclipse outside of standing out there, is there an intention or something that people can set or should set during that? Or is it or are we coming up to these events and it's just a, it's 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 just putting a stamp on what's already done? I feel it is uh, the 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 intention is I am manifesting my heart's desire. So you could say it's like spiritual miracle girl that's being poured on whatever you have growing right now. If your heart's desire has been to suffer, oh, you're going to suffer. <laughs> if your heart has been to thrive, then you're going to thrive. Like so, it's sort of a power pellet for Pac Man. You're going to become bigger. Whatever you are is going to become bigger. And so if you have been dark, you're going to see just how dark you've been because it will be exaggerated. If you've been in the light, you're going to see how bright you are at the same time. So I, what I'm telling all of our subscribers is to – this is about acting on your heart's desire, responding to your heart's needs and what your heart wants, and, and then holding space for this to happen. Is this the, uh, uh, so, uh, is this the glass going up to separate third earth? Yeah, I actually think it's the beginning of that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the beginning of that. I think I, I, I feel it's a lot of people being able to leave. So the conflict is what keeps us stuck in, in the sec Earth 2, as we like to say, the struggle bus. The conflict keeps us stuck, stuck there. The fact that we choose conflict. So I think, that, again, this, this is an Aries. So this, because it's a big healing, I think it will be a big healing of the conflict. We might see, for instance, like, maybe a truce in Ukraine or maybe um, something go on, you know, maybe something with Israel and the Gaza Strip also heal. You might see some uh, conflict in the world heal from this as well. You know, so, it's funny, we had uh, the country of Jordan reach out to us to come there and it uh, looks like we're going to be there in June. We haven't finalized it yet, but, you know, and, and, and of course that's as close as we can get to that without picking a side. <laughs> Um, which is interesting because i um, uh, super interested in helping people in that region right now. And I, I feel like something's going to happen. Okay, that's good. I feel, I feel it's real possible. It's necessary. Um, it sure would help the world. I didn't know your son had his own country, but I'll bow to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, he, but, but, he, but, he, but Jordan does have a, have a new girl in his life. Oh, yeah. What's her sign? Uh, she's a cancer she's exactly the same astrology as his sister oh okay and <laughs> yeah and 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 um, okay and and now i have to find a new social media person oh no we already found oh her. he's oh really? yeah he was doing that like it's like they come they they come they find somebody in our organization and they disappear no she's up in vancouver working helping out but she's the one that's been handling our social media for for the last six months oh okay got, got you so he's whisked her away. Well, that's good. Um, that's that's a good sign, actually, for Pisces. That's good Pisces report there. I have a you know Pisces and Virgos. I think are going to be finding love this year. So that's right in concert with what I had predicted for them. I think this is going to be the summer of love. I keep talking about that, but for those who are single, I really feel like put your cast your line out there. Uh, starting in June, Gary, there might be some attractive Jordan woman there waiting for you. I don't know. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be summer of love and you're gonna be in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> it should be fun. But yeah, so I think we're I think April's gonna be, you know, so this this week is really the start of it. Start treating yourself differently and manifesting a new rapport with yourself. This is an excellent week to start a diet, to start any of the Gary's programs. This is an excellent week to start a new mindset with yourself. Um you know, a lunar a lunar eclipse is is the depth of something, which allows for the birth of something. So it leaves room now for for new. 
And this is the new that is going to take you. You know, when we say the, the, the grand I am statement, we mean the statement of what you've come to be in this life. So I feel like in the next 30 days, you're going to realize who you are, what your character is. In fact, the Mercury retrograde goes from step 27 Aries to step 15 Aries from April Fool's Day, which is interesting. So it's like, talk about a foolish, you know, we'll be making all sorts of Mercury retrograde jokes on April Fool's Day. We'll be like, you know what I mean? Like, sorry, service is down for a week. Just April Fool's, the <laughs> Mercury is going to go from 27 to 15. So 27 is the I am character. 27 is the grand I am statement. Right. You know, you know, and, and what that means is like, I am, you know, what, what I am, what I am, what I am, I've come to be that. So we rethink, we realize on April fools. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm not this, I'm this. And then Mercury retrogrades, it goes, well, if I'm this, then this has to happen. And that has to happen. This has to change. That has to change. And, and then it goes down to 15 degrees. And at that point with stations direct, we now have a new pathway through, through the mountain. So you find a new pathway and 15 is the path of least resistance which is the basically the path that God has provided for you that your ego has dismissed for some reason or another. Like life has to be hard or it's too cheap. It can't possibly be that affordable. You know, it's funny because uh, my sister who raised me, Leah, her birthday is April 1st. And I'm like, that's going to be a good one. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good one. Um, and I think that's April. I think that's... Uh, if I'm mistaken, that's 10 degrees. Let's see what degrees are. Uh, 11. April 1st. 12, 12, 12. No, she's 11, 11 degrees, so, so it, it might have been. It would be 12. Or 12, 12. Oh, yeah. I mean 12 degrees, sorry. She's 12 degrees. That's a Jupiter, yeah. She's a Jupiterian. So you had a Jupiterian Aries raise you. That's interesting. Yeah, and I'm, uh, and I'm a Jupiterian Aries, 21 degree Aries oh, rising. With that's a, right. with a With a Grandmaster Aries. I can't remember where now. I'm sure whatever reason. But. So your rising is the next octave of of uh, 12 yeah and i have a also have a um have an eight, a 20, uh, 18 degree i have an 18 degree aries to my chart too somewhere hmm that's my, my chiron no wonder yeah. you tick me off no <laughs> no wonder you trigger me no you don't trigger me at all um what's 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 the word for octave for nine is there a word for, like octave for nine like nine tiv <laughs> nine tiv. i need to find that out because degrees are nine degrees apart, which is funny. Net net steps are nine degrees apart. Right. So, so what is that? So I, out of curiosity, um, this is a really powerful April um, and a really powerful Aries season. And and consequently, I have all these Aries, like the elite runner that I have, world elite oh, runner that's here. He's an oh, Aries. Interesting. He's a grandmaster Aries. <clears throat> and then I have, uh, I had a family come with three Aries kids. Um, all three of them at the same time. I mean, oh. I and and like I'm trying to figure out where is where is the Aries? Like, or sorry, why is it all coming here? And what would that mean to me? Because I'm a 21 in my ego, Sagittarius. Aries. Well, I feel Chiron. First of all, 19 means that <clears throat> you know 19 is pretty much the last degree before uh, mastery. Yeah. So it's it's the last degree of everything that you can do on your own. So Aries have healed everything inside them now. They're done. This is it. That eclipse is Aries have been made over at this point. And I was joking, you know, the age of Aries, they were conquerors and barbarians. The age of Pisces, they are basically heroes. And, and this age, they're out of work. They don't know what to be. Like Aries are in an identity character crisis. And this particular Aries month is the new characterization of Aries and we're calling them the trailblazers because I, you know, what's interesting is I think they're going to, they've been typically atheist and not cared about the spiritual world, but I feel like the new Aries is going to incorporate spiritual motives into their ego behaviors. So I feel like this new super Aries, which is the grand I am is a spiritually aware Aries. So to answer your question, Aries are about to be released to the world. Right. They're the pawns. I don't mean that with disrespect, but they're the pawns that go running out into the battle first. Yeah. And so what they usually make the sacrifices. What about Aries? Um, I have a lot of Aries Chiron around me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Chiron and Aries are, you know, people born that generation. So you have the Aries species alone. And then you have that generation of Aries, which is basically 1968 to 1976, maybe 77. 
all those people are honorary Aries. They have made an Aries jackass move in a past life that they came here to, to heal. And a lot of those Chirons are now, we're at Chiron return now. So we're at Chiron return up to 23 degrees Aries. This, this, um, so probably everyone through 1975 now are healed, born through 1975, they're healed. So this is actually releasing Gen X into the population. And uh, because Gen X, you know, Gen X, we get a bad rep, you know, although this is all about, but really, if you look at it, it's all about us because it's the X platform. It's the, the X virus. It's all X, right? Yeah. That's Gen X. <clears throat> Gen X is a very specific generation. They actually, because they had Chiron and Aries, they did not, they, it's not that we were lazy or not willing to do the work. It's that we fucked up in a past life. And so we just didn't want to mess up again. But what's happening is, is we are now healing that and no longer holding ourselves back, which is what I came through through my Chiron return. And so I predict it's the Gen X that actually becomes the next ruler of the world. They're the ones about to inherit the, the control. You know, Chiron and uh, like Obama was Chiron and Virgo, for right. instance. It's just to give you an idea. And Pluto and Virgo, rather. Pluto and Virgo. So he was about the – they were the healing generation. So the next generation is about to come up. So I think what you're doing is you're doing some a final tune-up on these Aries motors, these Chiron and Aries motors, and they go racing out into the population to do what they've come to do. I, I feel that. I feel that because the, like the people that I have been interacting with, the Aries, and I've had quite a few of them, um, they, they've – been grandmaster or 21 degrees uh, or 12 degrees like literally grandmaster 21 12 and i've had a whole bunch of them over the last maybe like, like month and a half yeah i'm trying i'm drawing in a lot of net nines myself right now um is there the runner grand the grandmaster runner is he 9 18 or 27 uh, um he's nine. Oh, interesting so he's a sprinter <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, he, he, you know, you know, what's funny. He's uh, he he can sprint. He's the guy that does the ultra marathons, like the um, uh, he does the um, you know, like the sixteen hour runs. Like he goes and does a, he'll do a five k, a ten k, and a twenty and a twenty five k all in all in three days in a row. Oh wow! So yeah. he he's a marathon runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he but he was built like a sprinter, but he. But he just chose to to run this. I mean, I, I I have so much respect for these guys. I mean, I can't even imagine running eighteen hours. Like he gets off the airplane, and uh, he says, "Don't bother picking me up. I'm running from the airport through the ghetto." Whoa. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these these, and everything he has, he puts on his body. He just that's what he travels with. Ah, that's funny. Put a camera on him. That's interesting. Yeah, lots of. It's like Van cameras on him. <laughs> it's Vangelis through the slums. Da, na, 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 yeah, I think he's. Uh, I think he's going to be. I think he's going to break a world record here, and that's why he's here. I, wow. I think he's the next guy to do it. Yeah. Wow. He, he's in the top in the world. Yeah. Wow, that's that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we Red Bull so quality. we we started. Uh, I started. I mean, you know, I've been working with pro athletes for the last, you know, all all the way through, but since 2020, with uh, select ones here and there. Building favors, you know. I help you, and one day you're gonna. I'm gonna ask for a favor, right? And um, and celebrities and stuff like that, because it's this time now. I'm calling in my favors, and some of the, and there's a couple other athletes, uh, world class athletes that were, and what we're doing is we're not fixing them, we're making them perform better. Right. Yeah, giving them a competitive advantage that others don't have. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it's significant. It's significant. It's it, like, like, uh, like I, we just posted our story today. He, this, this guy in uh, today, just today, grew. Um, he lengthened himself about three quarters of an inch through the treatment because it's compressed over time. Now, for oh, wow. a runner, a long distance runner, that is stride. That's power. That's lack of restriction. That is. That's the difference between between placing and and winning. Ah, yeah, just that small, tiny little difference, just that fraction of a fraction of a second. Somebody and asked if you're taking win. questions. Why don't you write the question in the comment there? Yep, write the question and we'll take it. I'm an NFL agent and would love to connect further on this. Uh, oh. Reach out to us, Miss Jag. Yeah, we have some NFL players, um, uh, definitely. 
Um, what we can do, what fascial maneuvers of performance can do, it makes, it removes restrictions. So uh, immediately run faster, like literally one session, run faster. And what we have is we're going to be training them with the performance maneuvers, which again, we've never trained anybody with. That's brilliant. Yeah. So write your question, Gibness. Yeah, that's very interesting. And that's and that's where you're opening up for revenue. No, it's is, not the uh, WEC with... method. It's not the WEC method. No, no, this is not even close to that. Um, fascia, the torque maneuvers were the ones we started with. It can take somebody who we've taken people out of, uh, that are that are that can't walk and make them walk within minutes. But it, it does, it's it's about removing all the restrictions in the joints. Um, completely not the WEC method. Faster, easier, does it right away. It's not, it's not a completely different theory of how the body works and how fashion works. I'm a Virgo, uh, what do you predict? Oh. I, I predict you have to change your boundaries with yourself. You're too stubborn. You're holding yourself back. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, have, what I predict. Chiron 20 Aries and four gods. Oh, oh, yeah. You're going to have your Chiron return for Chiron 20 Aries. Um, born, Aries, Chiron and Aries is a good thing. No, I mean, there's no good or bad in astrology, but Chiron and Aries means that you're, you're, you, your ego messed up in a past life. You, your ego pushed too hard or walked over people or you were violent or careless or, you know, evil can evil taking unnecessary risks. And so Chiron and Aries people, um, that generation, which is known as Gen X, Gen X is, you know, they say, they have the X reputation for not being very present. The truth is we've held back because we were worried about making a mistake. And so the Chiron return is that you get over that worry for making a mistake. My, I am now fearless. I used to fear that I would lose what I built. I would fear all this stuff would happen to me. And, and now I don't, I don't fear it. I faced it. So the, uh, I, I, I know that Scorpios, if we didn't say something to them, we would get lots of messages afterwards. So they're Scorpios. Scorpios, you know, the thing for Scorpios on this eclipse is this idea that life is hard is only because you said life is hard. So for Scorpios, it's this mindset that life's hard, life's a challenge, life takes sacrifice. Ask a Taurus, that's not true. Like, uh, you made it that way because you are, have this macho kind of attitude about you and this life or death, black and white sort of thing. So this eclipse for Scorpios really is the death of the idea that life has to be hard for you to be successful. Um, so that's ultimately what it is. Oh, look at the Leo's. Yeah. Yeah, the Leos are coming out now. Um, for, for Leos, this eclipse is about um, basically ending the critic in your head that's holding you back. So for for Leos, they've been too you, the way you've been talking to yourself, you've been talking to yourself out of believing in yourself, and you've been talking to yourself out of your power. So uh, Leos have to adopt a new attitude in their head that uh, d does believe. I've told Leos. You have to risk being the emperor with no clothes now. You have to go out on a limb. You have to be that that cunning emperor. What do you think, speaking of Leos, what do you think of going on? What, what's going on with the royal family, you think, Gary? Like um, triple cancer threat? I, I, I mean, uh, first of all, it's all, first of all, I don't believe anything. Um, I believe it. So, so number one is, I just noticed the other day, uh, she's doing preventive chemotherapy. And I'm like, there's no what? such thing you as don't, preventive. You don't, do pre you don't put poison in your body as a preventative. Yeah, it, what they're doing is they're making, they're, they're creating a narrative. Uh, they're, they're creating a narrative to get people to do more treatments, to take more drugs, oh. stuff like that. Oh, you that. think so? Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all set up. I mean, it's all BS. I mean, I don't. I, the just all the stuff that's going on it's like it there's so much trickery and everything i just i i look at it with 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 absolutely no energy at all it just makes no sense but i i do know that that the royal family is in a lot of trouble yeah okay yeah for for all, for like just being who they've been for the last 500 years basically is what yeah. you're saying. Like, I mean, yeah. uh, yeah, I'm not going to sit on here. Yeah. There's, okay. there's, yeah. There's, there's, yeah. Well, so I, it's, there's a conversation, but we'll have it. We'll, we'll have it at Austin 2024. Come on down folks. That's why you want to be there. Yeah. We'll be talking. Um,
Yeah, do you, I I saw that the video has has been proven as a deep fake, like it's it was manufactured. So it's funny how they create a video and not just put her out there for reals. But I was curious what you you know what you thought about. It. I just like you know they they know the show. They, they they're not that stupid. They they know how to do that. I mean, they know that they're going to get caught. I mean, anything at this level, even even the crap with Biden and that they they know that they're purposely making it look to get caught. I mean, they're they're too good. People aren't that stupid. And, and the people that do this aren't that stupid either. So so if you're seeing something, it's because you're supposed to. Nobody's searching anything. Nobody's like finding out what's under the covers accidentally. They're leaking everything out. Mm. Well, I can see the narrative. I mean, there's been some, uh, I saw something where intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting causes heart, heart, heart yeah. failure. And I was just like, uh, yeah, they're doing total, that. That's yeah. an mRNA a symptom cover isn't that i, I yeah. kind of felt like i thought that kate was sort of an mr mrna symptom cover also like this is common yeah i mean cancer's I mean, look at cancer's really common there that i mean it's all it's all that it, it is every one of those things right so that's why you know we tell people if you've got an issue with that um take diet to mission's earth irish sea moss take power kirk um take bladder rack do fascial maneuvers that it doesn't matter what you put in your body when your body's properly functioning it, it our bodies are more powerful than any drug that we can put in or any yeah. or any shot that we can put in it's just that you got to clean it up our bodies are dysfunctional right now and 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 not just the healthy ones are dysfunctional mm. Mm. yeah absolutely and I don't disagree with that. I just thought it kind of be interesting, interesting headlines to, to, to sort of discuss here. Uh, wondering because it's cancer and this three in the family has cancer. You know, it yeah. Can, Prince William is, is it Prince William? Yeah, it's Prince William, right? Diane's son. Is that his yeah. Name? yeah. 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I just, uh, I just like uh, put no stock in anything. Just waiting to see. It's all, it's all shenanigans. It's all coordinated somewhere. There's an effort. There's nothing happening by chance. This is all, it's, it's all controlled media. And, and it's all, when everybody's looking over where somewhere, there's something else happening, always. Everything, all the time. Yeah. How do people sign up for the Human Garage Austin event? Oh, just go to our website. Uh, we just launched it today, uh, a soft launch. So we just uh, soft launched it today. And um, also to, um, yeah, so we just soft launched it today, and uh, I'll talk to you offline about some stuff that we need that we need to do. Okay, sounds good. Um, and for us, it's unite the light dot love. If you want to be a part of the weekend thing, I need to talk to you about what you're presenting. You are presenting, right, at our yep. show? Yep. Okay, yep. good. I got to set that all up. <laughs> and we got we got we got to talk about that and set it up. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm gonna be there the whole week from Gary's event to mine. Yeah, it's gonna so. be. Fun. We're going to be doing, and we got we got people coming in. I've got media partners coming in. I've got podcasters, some pretty big ones, like really really big ones coming in. So I think we're going to be uh, drag dragging some people in while we're there. We're going to probably end up doing a bunch of interviews ourselves. Oh, that's great! That'll be fun. Yeah. I'll be there too, hanging out at the house with uh, all the garagers, yeah. hanging out yeah. in the garage, um, <clears throat> probably giving reading after reading. So it'll be good. So. To wrap up this week, it's really about just, you know, how do you get the best out of you? Like, that's the question. How do I get the best out of myself? What do I have to be to myself to get the best out of myself? And if you do that, I think you leverage yourself for the grand I am statement of April. Yeah. Well, um, the other signs. So if someone's asking for the other signs, I just recorded an amazing um, Namaste Today Live. It's on my YouTube and you'll see in last Friday's show, I go very deep for all 12 signs on what exactly this eclipse means. And, I, and it'll, it'll do it real justice to go and take a look at it. Yeah. Sweetheart, she's saying hi. <laughs> hi, Cynthia. How are you? I'll see you soon. What are you bringing me to Austin? <laughs> <laughs> what can okay, you give to my getting? Yeah, looking forward to it. I'll, be, I'll see everyone on Thursday for... Um, Astro mechanics. mechanics. That's okay. right. We'll see Take you there. Enjoy yeah. the eclipse. Love, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye.